So we hear the CES 2020. Hey. So this is the MicroDrone 4.0. Um, it incorporates uh, three main features in a drone. So it's got a two-axis gimbal to show a smooth video. It's also got autonomous flight, so it can hover on the spot. So this drone integrates a whole bunch of sensors to a capability to do that. So it's got a downward facing camera for optical flow. So when you're flying, it'll hover on the spot. So it doesn't drift about, it'll just hover there in the sky. It's also got a barometric pressure sensor, so it'll just hold its altitude. You can set the altitude at any angle you want, any height. It also has foldable propellers, so that's good for portability. You can just fold it up like that and then carry it with you. And then they, they just uh, flip open when you're flying. A good thing about this is the way it launches. So it's got an instant launch function. So you just click the button three times and it will instantly launch from your palm. And then that allows you just to kind of immediately start flying. So you just <coughs> click the button, look into the camera, one, two, three, and it will just immediately fly. And you let go and it will hover on the spot. It will follow you? Yeah, it's got follow me with tracking. So when you're flying it, you can engage the tracking and just walk around and it'll just follow you fully autonomously. It works? Yeah, it works really well, yeah. I've actually got a little video I can show you. Um, um, so this was uh, uh, on Indiegogo. Yes. Uh, you guys are based right 1.7 yeah, million well, on Indiegogo. Correct, yeah, so we launched yeah. on Indiegogo. It was one of the highest funded drone campaigns of yeah. 2019. Yeah. And do you need we've got 11,000 backers from all over the world. And we are starting to we ship in February. So it's um, between the Tello and the Mavic um, Mini? Yes. We, 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 we spotted a, a, a position in the market for a drone which is more than just a toy, but not as expensive as the professional drones. Because most people just want a drone that can shoot really nice, good quality, smooth video. And that's what this does. How much? Um, $200. So you get the drone uh, with the gimbal, the camera, uh, for 200 bucks. And autonomous, really? Uh, yeah, so hovering, self-hovering. Yeah. How about uh, so following you? Yeah, so, the, so that's all through the app. So it comes with the MicroDrone 4.0 app. Download the app and you can fly it with your iPhone or with your Android. So it's following by uh, Wi-Fi? Um, yeah, with Wi-Fi, yeah. So the does AI runs on the, on the phone. Uh, the phone makes a hotspot Pardon? and it connects to the hotspot. Um, actually, the drone it connects to the phone directly. So the drone generates the Wi-Fi and that gives you about 700 feet of range. 700 feet? Wi-Fi is, is not as far as some other technology, you know? Yeah, so we can have an adapter and run some other RF. And so what you can do is um, we're using the brand new AC Wi-Fi. That gives much more range, giving you up to 700 feet. So previously, the Wi-Fi would only give you like 100, 200 feet, and um, it was quite laggy. But the new AC Wi-Fi using two antennas gives you much longer range, and that's perfect for streaming to your phone. Is that like 200 meters? No. How um, far is that? More than 100 meters. A meter is about, uh, 300, about 300 meters. Yeah. 300 meters. Yeah. We also do a, um, a controller, an optional handset. Um, this is the handset here. And that allows you to fly the drone with your smartphone or with your controller. Because some people like flying with the sticks. And that gives you 700 feet of flight range using radio. So that gives you um, analog control. And if it goes out of range, is it going to be smart enough to come back? So it doesn't have a GPS, but um, this is really designed for people who want to send it out, get a nice video from the air, like say you want to do a home inspection. It's not really designed for like so super long range, but within 700 feet, you can see it in the air and just fly it right back. So you are Extreme Flyers? Correct, yeah, we're a London-based company. London. Do you design the whole thing? Yeah, we designed the whole thing from scratch. We started in 2011. So the Microsoft 1.0 launched in 2012, the 2.0 in 2013, the 3.0 in uh, 2015, we shipped it, people loved it. And now the Microsoft 4.0, this is available uh, to order now, and uh, we're shipping it in, in, in February and June. Uh, throughout February, March, April, June. You sell many? Pardon? You, you've been selling many before this one? Uh, yes, yeah, so this is our fourth generation drone. Uh, we really want to focus on one product, because there's so many big companies, like, you know, how do you compete with a company like DJI? And the way to do it is by keeping a small company, but this also DJI right super here. focused. Like, we are literally just, we make one product and do it really, really well. So we're able to innovate fast. Uh, we've got a very good, talented team and um, who've been with us all these years. And that's, um, that's how we're able to compete. And um, just to come up with developments really fast before they can. you make it in China? Yeah, we have a factory in China. I'm actually going to the factory next month for a whole month to oversee production. 
and um, our drum team is based in London. So all these backers are getting it next month? Yeah, exactly. They're going to start shipping it in, in February. Already people are really excited. Uh, we're going to be sending out to beta testers. <coughs> um, this is the drone here, so what you see here is exactly what you're going to get. Um, it's got optical flow, downward facing camera, it's got the battery, uh, the gimbal. Um, yeah, the whole package is, um, I'm really happy with it. It's turned out very nice and the flying is good and uh, the camera is great. So um, yeah, I'm really happy how it's turned out and I know they're going to love it too. Um, is, what's, <clears throat> what's the status in the industry for autonomous drones that follow people? Are there any good examples like these competitors you have right here, the, the Tello and the Mavic Mini? Are they good at doing this stuff? Yeah, so actually it's a really good question because until a few years ago, none of the products had this kind of features, only the kind of premium products had it. But now it's sort of you know, tracking, uh, follow, um, autonomous flight time, um, smooth video. That's the kind of like people expect that now in, um, in, in, in any drone but it's still not caught up with those micro drones. So we're the first to create all that technology into a small palm sized device. Like, you know, this fits between the Tello and the Mavic Mini. The, um, the, uh, the, uh, the Tello and Mavic Mini don't have it? Uh, so the Tello doesn't have it, you know, it, it flies really nicely. That's the good thing about that. But it doesn't follow and it doesn't have um, a gimbal. Even the Mavic Mini doesn't have follow. Uh, it doesn't have any tracking, but it has a gimbal and an autonomous flight. So the micro, 4.0 is actually pretty good because it has the tracking and the autonomous flight and the smooth video. What is a big challenge to do a good tracking? Uh, do you need to have some kind of AI going on there? Correct, yeah. It's on the drone. Uh, on the phone. Oh, it's so not on the drone. We so get a really reliable video, video source from the drone and then we use the computing power of the smartphone to do all the tracking. And uh, that works really well. Um, you, know, you can walk around, the camera keeps the person lined up in the shot and you can walk around and the drone follows you. I can actually show you on my phone. I've got a, I've got a video from my colleague who just sent it through. Yeah. Um, where's my phone? phone is in my pocket. It's in my pocket? Yeah. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So um, that means you need to have a good app development Yes. Because you need to do a cool app that really has AI stuff going on inside. Exactly, yeah. So the AI is, there's a lot of AI solutions now, and it's getting better and better. So I'll just show you briefly how it works. So Jason's walking around, it's following him, looks really well. And as you can see, that's fully unaided. It's just is walking he, around. Is he uh, putting his arm up to the left to say, go to the left? Oh, he's just walking around, doing a bunch can of stuff. Can like, do science to it and say, hey, yeah, can, he can recognize. The, the idea, eventually, it'll be able to like recognize gestures, you know, Jedi kind of maneuvers, and um, the idea is that you can just sort of, you know, do well, it's that. It's going to be in a software update. Uh, in, yeah, we're going to be doing a series of updates. So we're currently in progress with the AI. It's still in development. So we haven't um, we haven't completed it yet, but um, we hope to have some basic AI functions when we start shipping in February. Because many of the modern smartphones have. Um um, they have uh, uh, AI accelerators on the smartphone SOC. Yes. And if you have a cool app, you can take advantage of that, right? So then you can uh, accelerate the AI in the app, make sure it's like really smart and good and efficient. That's right. Yeah, you're definitely seeing a trend now where um, where these sort of like traditional live video feeds are now being created to do smart things. So using AI, you can do object recognition, tracking, and those really kind of add to the experience of the drone. If you have a drone that can follow you with that live video feed, that's really where we're getting to in this development. Maybe you can have like some uh, recommended phones, like minimum specs to not have the AI crash the drone on you. Right, exactly. If you don't have a fast yeah. enough phone. So what, what I found is that you know you make sure the drone, make sure the phone is fully charged up, basic stuff. There's not too many apps running. That it's not it's not um, laggy. The phone is running smoothly, and then um, then you know an iPhone six, seven above. That they're usually pretty um, capable for running our application. Could you do something <coughs> kind of cool like uh, two hundred dollar for the drone and unlimited warranty as long as you you don't do something crazy because you can record the session that crashed the drone and if it was a normal session like not hiding behind a tree or something 
then it could be like, oh, you can swap for a new drone if it crashed. Yeah, you know, warranty and repairs is actually a really good question. So from our experience with the 2.0 and the 3.0, we design that into the drone, so the ability to maintain it quite easily. So if you burn a motor out or break the frame or break an arm, the whole thing is modular. It just unscrews. You can access all the guts of the drone, like the motors, the motor arm gears, the, um, the flight board, the camera. And that just clips together inside the actual structure. So if you want to change a motor, it's really easy. And um, we have those on the website. You can order them online, and then you'll better get the part you need and just we ship price. worldwide. Oh, they're really cheap. I mean, like we usually Order. we don't make any profit on the lost fair parts, so we just supply them to make them available. Maybe you could even uh, do the swapping and the repair for them, but you don't need because it's too easy it's to repair easy, yeah. I mean, like, yourself. The, like, we wanted to avoid having to like, send the drone back somewhere to to repair it, so we made it really easy with the videos. We made the design really easy, so it's easy to do it yourself. So anyone who owns a drone, they can just get the part, ship it to them swap out the parts and then you're good to go again. So perhaps you could have the warranty includes shipping replacement parts in case the crash happened within reasonable situation. So you're not like having the drone follow you in a snowstorm and right. then uh, diving through a tunnel or yeah, something. That's right. So the package does come with some spare parts. So in the box you get a couple of spare blades and that's inside the box. We also do all the parts on the website and um, yeah, we made those affordable, so we don't charge a lot for spare parts. I'd recommend just stocking up with spare parts, uh, anything you need, just um, check out the website for any videos on how to change them. Because I'm imagining that the DJI uh, business model is uh, a lot to do with um, people paying $1,000 for a drone and it's most likely going to crash.